hi guys welcome to crafts anonymous again with liz today um today i will be making a flower um picture frame okay so basically what i did was um go to a dollar store around my house and i got me a plain picture frame okay so and i looked in my house like i think i have some flowers and look what i got look at all these bubbly flowers and um today i'm gonna be putting these flowers to decorate my picture frame so first thing is first the first thing i need to make sure is running is my my iron um right now i'm waiting for it to get hot and i'm just gonna you know separate my um flowers just to know what i want to go where and where i want each of them to go to um you don't actually have to separate them but um, i just want to make sure that everything is matching and yeah it just looks so beautiful and i'm gonna be bringing this lifeless frame back to life okay um just go along with me while i finish up this um beautiful craft today and i promise you you're gonna love it and i know it's something you might want to try at home probably with your daughter your son just to make their rooms more beautiful you know you can get a couple of these from dollar store and just you know after decorating and putting some pictures they can put it by their bed they can put it by the wall and you know just do a couple of different things with this picture frames when you're done with them um right now my iron is hot it is as hot as i want it to be which is perfect so um first thing is first now i'm gonna make sure that i lay my frame down and the first uh, one i want to use today will be this one this is the one, first one I want to put on my friend today. Okay, so I am going to grab that and I'm going to apply this right here just like that. And I'm going to press this on here. I'm going to do that. If it is lifting, just put a little bit of more glue and you will be good to go. <laughs> you will be good to go so next um you just keep applying different kind of you know flowers to these things um just keep applying the more you do the more beautiful it becomes it doesn't necessarily have to be um in order just do what makes you feel like oh yes this is gonna be so beautiful and trust me it will it will okay and make sure you're careful you don't want to get burnt you don't want to get burnt okay um the next uh, i'm just gonna keep doing this for a while you guys i'm not even done and i'm in love i'm in love already look at that just look at that okay the same thing on the other side of my frame since i usually use a dark pink i want to try to use a lot of pink this time around okay. all right so basically you're just going to keep repeating this process until these picture frames looks more alive to you okay just keep doing the same thing over and trust me you're gonna be in love by the time you finish you're gonna be in love because we are bringing this frame to life um so far so good this is what i have this is what i have so far and i'm gonna go in the middle and just you know put some little dotty flower Put this right here. And I'm gonna do the same thing for right here. Same thing for right here. And just be careful, you don't want to get burnt. <laughs> no, I'm burnt, but you don't want to get burnt while you're doing this, okay? Um, now I'm just gonna put some green leaves right around here. Just to make this a little bit not too lifty, I'm going to apply some more glue right there. And I'm going to put this on top. 
just stick it in there. Oops. It's not really dry. Okay. And oh my god, guys, look at that. Look at that. Just imagine how beautiful this is gonna look with some baby pictures in between. So pretty. Okay, so um, I'm also gonna do the same thing for right here. I'm gonna find a different color of green, I think. Okay, I do have one. Uh, I'm gonna do the same thing for right here. I'm gonna put this right here. And I'm going to put this right here. Okay. And just like I did for the other one, I don't want it to be too lifty. I'm going to put a little bit of glue, press it down. The same thing for right here, put a little bit of glue. And I'm going to press it down. Okay. Oh, guys. I still have a little bit of more flour. So I don't want this to be just so flat. So I'm just going to add a little bit of more flour since this is where I really want my focus to be on. Right here. I'm going to add a little bit of flour. Okay. Um, I think I found the purple one. So beautiful, gorgeous, gorgeous. So um, you can put as much as possible flour that you want. It doesn't have to exactly look like mine. The minute you feel like, oh my God, yes, uh, you know, I wish the perfect decoration that I want. You can go ahead and start putting more flowers on there. But I want it to look a little bit more lively. So I'm just going to put a little bit of more flowers on there. Okay, you can put butterflies if you have butterflies at home. It doesn't necessarily have to look like this. You know, just mess around, play with it. And trust me, you are going to love it. You are going to have a ton of fun doing this. Oh, looks like I'm out of glue. <laughs> okay. Okay, guys, so um, so far so good. This is what I have. I am so so positive that you guys can see how I've brought this to life. You see what I'm saying? So, um, like I said earlier, you can put some pictures in this decorated with your bedrooms, your baby's bath, my bedrooms, and stuff. And trust me, it is so beautiful. Look at how we brought that lifeless frame back to life making it look so gorgeous um again thanks for joining me on crafts anonymous this month uh thanks for watching and i hope you have a wonderful rest of your day once again my name is liz thanks for watching have a wonderful weekend bye